All right, what's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Today we are back in Lyra Starter Game Kit here, and um, I had a lot of people asking how to do the retargeting of the character, and it's not very difficult, guys. So I'm gonna go over it right quick. Um, also, um, to get this screen, if you're getting the the, the tan, cream, khaki-looking screen. Uh, you just want to go in when you first open the project. You want to go into project settings. And you just want to change maps and modes here. And you want to make sure that this says front end, just like it does here on the game default map. Just change the editor startup map to front end, and then you'll get what I have here. Um, and you won't get that warning anymore, and it'll load up differently as well. So the first thing you want to obviously do is get your character. Um, let me go ahead and do that right quick. So the character that we're going to use, um, I'll go in here and I'll just type character and we'll pick somebody out. I have this guy in. I'm going to go ahead and add this one in as well. Um, the nice thing is now at five, you can actually go and add to project. Yay. Yay. All right, so once you have that done, you go in. I'm going to get out of this now. I don't need it anymore. You want to go into your uh, characters, and you want to go to the content drawer. Um, look for, and I, I got more folders than you guys because I've added other things. So first thing you want to check is the characters folder, and you want to go to cosmetics because this is actually where you change the characters. This here says B10 plate UE4. You can use this for your UE4 character if you want. Um, I usually just replace one of these two. So today we're going to go ahead and do the B Manny character. And I'm going to show you guys how simple this is. Basically, you click on the character. All right. And you want to find your mesh that you want to replace. So highlight the mesh. And you want to replace it with uh, the mesh of your choice, which mine is going to be the full body here, this character. Go to the viewport, make sure your character's in, which you can see my character's in there. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to retarget the blueprint to the character. So what you want to do is <clears throat> type in ABP under the content, and all of your blueprints should come up. You want to go to the one that says ABP mannequin retarget. All right. So this is the one that you want to use. Um, and you want to basically retarget this asset. So you press duplicate and retarget. All right. If your character doesn't have a uh, <coughs> humanoid and all that stuff selected, you want to make sure that you do that first. But this is the retargeter. It's very simple, guys. You hit the IK retargeter and you have three different choices. You have the one that's just for UE4. This is mannequin, mannequin to mannequin. Then you have UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny. <coughs> Explanatory enough. And then you have UE5 Manny to UE4 Manny. This is the one we want to use because we are kind of retargeting backwards because the bones are different in this character. So you go and you find your character. So once again, I have to find that same character that I used here. So I use full body one. And then I usually, you know, add something to let me know that it's that character a suffix. So I'll put like um, sci-fi eight because that was like part of his name. And then I'll change the folder. I usually make a uh, Anim retarget folder, which is here. Say OK. And then you just press retarget. You'll see the blueprint come up. All right. So now what you want to do is go back to your character. So we're going to go back in the content drawer. We're going to take all this out. And we're just going to go back to characters, cosmetics. And you go to your character, and where it says Anim class, you want to put in your new blueprint that you just retargeted. You want to use the one that says retarget. The reason is, is that all of these uh, actions are just being referenced through this blueprint. If you go into the blueprint itself, you'll see that there's really not any information in the blueprint. It opens here. So all you have in here is very basic information. Um, and 
there's not really anything here because it's basically all being referenced from another blueprint okay so now that's it guys this should be good enough you want to go ahead compile do a save all make sure all information saves you want to do that a lot in any project you're working on so now we should be able to just go in and press play <coughs> And it's going to take a little second. I'm going to go to the volume mixer because sometimes this thing gets real loud. All right, so it looks good. Let's go back in. We're going to go ahead and press play and see what we get. Just the letter A. And then we could choose which type of game we want to play. Let's see if our character's in the game or not. And since we replaced the Manny, um, that character should replace the blue mannequins. It's going to take a little second for it to load up. Um, it is a game, so it's loading up. And there we go. So your character's in. I told you guys the hand thing. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'll have to still figure that out. Like you can see his are way off compared to my other character. But he is in the game. And I will figure that out. I'm pretty sure it has to do with... Uh, I'm thinking it has to do with the rig itself. I'll have to go in and make some adjustments to the rig. To make that happen. Because he's holding his hands like in the right position. But the gun is nowhere near where it's supposed to be. Yes, he's kind of floating in between his hands. But that's it guys. Um, That's how you get the character in. Um, I'll play with the IK and the hand stuff and all that. And once I figure that out, of course, I'll post that too. But that's it, guys. That's how you put a character in. It's the easiest retargeting ever. It's just, I don't know, a lot simpler to me than the way things used to be. So, and that's just for this project. Um, I don't know how they're going to have retargeting for the entire future. But that's it, guys. Amp Capo, Black Bonus Game. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thanks to all the subscribers who have subscribed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.